Rogers, Tony Hinchcliffe. Hi, everybody. Hello. Happy Monday to you. How exciting. Yes, indeed. Hi, everybody. We are live, everyone. Hi. Make some noise. Come on. Oh, boy. Sounds good in here. Home sweet home. I woke up in Montreal this morning and flew here today, so it's good to be here. I feel great. How do you guys feel? It's a hot Monday. I love it. We're live right now to the many people on Ustream and Periscope and a bunch of weird things that these young kids are doing these days. Uh, so I want to let you know real quick before we jump into everything, uh, La Jolla, Tulsa, San Francisco, Sacramento, L La Jolla next week, this weekend actually, coming up in Boston's Wilbur Theater, October 8th. All those dates are TonyHinchcliffe.com. That part's very important. Tony, I just want to say I was so proud of you watching you on the roast battle, man. It was so awesome Thank to you. watch. You did a great job. Uh, I had so much fun, Comedy Central's roast battle, and so many uh, to get to watch my friends who have built a show here that happens Tuesdays at midnight, to get to watch what they did. It's amazing. I think you'll all find it hilarious. If you like this show, you'll love roast battle. Check it out on Comedy Central, everyone. Put your hands together for that. Where did, where did you get that big armor that I, uh, you wore? I dressed up in a full suit of armor, which, by the way, I fucking fell in love with. Uh, I think I'm going to start doing it more often. It feels good. It's my kind of thing. I think I wear it well. I think it agrees with me. I think it likes being worn by me. Thick suits of armor. It felt fucking good. And by the way, you know what? Some people, uh, some, somebody tried to talk me out of it. They're like, you know, you, you might want to do it, but there's people, everybody's watching this. You might get cast, you know, they might want to cast you in like a sitcom. And look, you're dressing up like a knight. You should just go up as yourself. And I thought to myself, first of all, fuck, I don't want to be in a sitcom. Right? You sure about that? And then it hit me. I want to be cast as a fucking knight. That's oh. what I want to do. If I'm going to be cast as anything, put me in fucking Game of Thrones. Let's do this. Well, they only have one season left, man. Turns Maybe out this... they had another little bastard Lannister all along. The first one. Well, how about that storyline? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> thank you. Back to the sitcom. Uh, we are live, everyone. Welcome to Kill Tony. Jamie Vernon is, uh, he died over the weekend. Yeah. Uh, he's not working. Just kidding. He didn't matter. Uh, to Jamie. That didn't get even a giggle. That was weird. <laughs> Almost felt like I was misinforming people of a death. <laughs> House artist Ryan J. Ebelt is here. He has a yes. blank sheet of paper in front of him. He's going to draw tonight's episode. You're going to see it at the end of the episode. And if you stick around on the front patio after the show, we always hang out. You can see him there or by the official... Kill Tony poster, oh, yeah. drawn by Ryan J. Belt. I have it up in my living room. It's the coolest fucking poster in the world. Um, so let's just jump right into it, shall we? You guys ready to uh, meet the band, the Kill Tony band? Yeah. Put your hands together. They're the fucking best. It's Reagan and Watkins, ladies and gentlemen. Fighting over the White House. <laughs> wow, my favorite wow. thing. Every week, uh, every week they come out with a different introduction. One of the fun things uh, that a lot of people might not know if you're a fan of the show is that. I never ever plan what they're going to do. I never know what they're going to do. It's something that I like to uh, improvise off of. I always don't. I don't approach them before the show. I don't. We don't even really say hi to each other, and they go do their thing. And this week, because by the way, this is a live podcast, and it's mostly just audio listeners. Uh, they came. <laughs> there you go. They came out as Donald Trump and definitely Hillary Clinton. Uh, that looks exactly like Hillary Clinton. Joel Jimenez. He's the White House. He, he's the White House, or the Brown House, because uh, he's Mexican as fuck. Thank you, Joel. Uh, Trump, you are looking Trumpy tonight. Oh. Tony, it's great to be here. <laughs> I cannot believe I have the presidential candidates on this show. They, they, they thought Roast Battle was having a breakthrough. How about Kill Tony? 
presidential candidates. Tony, I heard the show was rough last week, so I'm here to make the show great again. There was a... <laughs> it was so bad without you. Uh, it was unbelievable. Uh, so thank you, Donald. Uh, Hillary, how are you? How's the candidacy going? Oh, I'm good. Just trying to get people to like me. Oh, see, what... <laughs> Wow. See, what I love about this the most is that uh, Trump sounds like Trump, and uh, Hillary sort of sounds like Pat Reagan. <laughs> I mean, it's almost impeccable uh, that, Hillary, you're such a big fan of the show that you learned how to do a Pat Reagan impression. Um, you have to admit, she's a beautiful woman. She's a beautiful <laughs> woman. I'm actually surprised to hear you say that, Donald Trump, because that doesn't seem like something you would say. You know, big fan of Pat Reagan. Big fan. In and if I could say one more thing, Mr. Trump, uh, while we're raving about Roast Battle and its wild success this weekend, uh, I have to say that most comedians and most of the funniest people in the world will tell you that the funniest part of that show is a thing called The Wave, which is three guys that come up and react to the jokes. And uh, Donald Trump, you are a spitting image of my pal Jeremiah Watkins, who uh, actually pulled off in many people's and, and executive producers and network heads' uh, opinions, was the most diabolical thing ever. By he shaved his pubes last night oh, on Jesus. the air on live TV. <laughs> a joke, a roast joke on somebody was so funny that he shaved his pubes. It was live, and we had to make history, you know. <laughs> And then Mike Lawrence put it on his beard. He was so happy he put it on his beard. And then hugged Sarah Tiana, and there was a little piece on her head that she didn't even know about. It's true. Those pubes spread fast. Yeah. And Brian will let you know by crushing the comedic energy to bring it up. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Who is this guy? China? I mean, I'm all right. <laughs> Let's meet tonight's guest, shall we? You guys ready for this shit? Huh? 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 If you're a fan of the show, then you're going to love tonight's show. It's a return of two of our favorite guests in the world. Put your hands together for Kirk Fox and of Roast Battle fame, Earl Skakel. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Earl Skakel, I have been with you all week in Montreal, and you, my friend, were unfucking believable wow. He took out Jimmy Carr, who was the returning champion of last year, and that, I mean, that's like, compare, it was like Diaz McGregor, like, I mean, you took down a beast. Well, uh, everyone has a game plan until they get hit in the face. That's right, and, and you took him out, Jimmy Carr. Yeah, it was amazing, and Kay Trevor, and uh, I'm disappointed I lost, but Sarah Tiana's, uh, she's amazing, so. Yeah, it yeah. was great. You guys all did fantastic, so it's a special, fun little Roast battle uh edition. Kirk, you saw Roast Battle this weekend. Any thoughts? I, I saw enough of it, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I saw what was happening. Is uh, Are you guys impressed by, uh, look who's uh, the band tonight. It's Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. Are you guys excited about this? Yeah. Oh, I, and I don't forget the White House as well. <laughs> it's I mean, nice I, to see him. It seems to fit. I fucked worse. <laughs> <laughs> Hillary, what do you think about Earl Skakel? Did you see him on Roast Battle this weekend? I did see him on Roast Battle. He was really funny, and he took his shirt off and rubbed oil all over himself. So it's just like any other weekend. Fuck yeah. Trump, what's your favorite thing about being on this show and seeing some new comedians? It's got to be the energy in this room right now. It's vivacious. <laughs> just feeling it. Joke's hitting. Feels good to be here. <laughs> I completely agree. You guys have done this show a few times. You know what the hell's going on. We're just going to jump right into it. Uh, over 40, 50 some comedians signed up with a chance to do 60 seconds on this stage. After that 60 seconds, they become guests on a live podcast. Do we have to see all 40 or 50, or is that just how many signed up? No, Kirk, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you know that we don't get through all these okay. young bucks. Just, I don't, I don't remember. There's a little mouse. Now, 
there's a mouse running around on the show somewhere. I don't know why exactly, but uh, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Little tiny mouse running around in uh, your sound effects board? Know. That's the mouse uh, of Comedians, you know how it works. You get 60 seconds. You know your time is up when you hear the sound of a kitty. Aw, isn't that adorable? That, wrap it up then, or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. Yep. All right. Okay, is that, is that mouse again? What is that? Get it out of here. Stop it. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, for those of you that are fans of Morning Wacky Radio, uh, we are live on Kill Tony right now. Hey now, uh, whoa, was, uh, was there a little mouse out there this morning? Uh, and uh, that looks good to Hillary Clinton with the weather. How did Red Band get an audio sample of me scissoring Condoleezza Rice? Oh, Hillary <laughs> joke. Hillary joke. Hillary joke. Let's just say on that one, I'm with her. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. You motherfuckers ready to start this show or what? Anything can happen. It's all random as fuck. Pretty much... Any human being, no matter what mental capacity they have, can sign up for this show. And it's proven time after time. Some of the craziest shit happens. Sometimes we meet a comedian from the future. Are you ready to start the show? Come on, Monday night. You have to do better than that. I know the chef's walking around, fucking up the energy right now. Because somebody had to get chicken wings. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, your first comedian tonight, doing 60 seconds, if you will, goes by the name of Quentin Alston. Here we go. Come on, Monday night, put your hands together, you motherfuckers. I'm half black and half white, and I wish I could say that the bottom half was black. Like, it's, it's not small. Like, it's been called cute before, but it's not, it's not small. I was watching the Titans trilogy. I don't know if you guys have seen it. It's uh, Clash of the Titans, Wrath of the Titans, and Remember the Titans. <laughs> I'm all for twist endings, but I didn't see that shit coming. I was like, okay, that's the dude that makes the lightning bolts. That's the dude that throws the lightning bolts. Why the fuck are they playing football? Thank you. That was the most likable goodbye I've ever seen on this show on a set. Very likable. Quentin Alston. Look at you. You tiny little Blake Griffin motherfucker. <laughs> I spent, Earl and I spent pretty much the whole week kicking it with Blake Griffin. So did Tiana. Yeah. Oh, shit. Ooh, Hello, yeah. Oh, wow. Let's just say uh, he's a power forward, but she may have been a power bottom in that situation. Uh, Wow, it's yeah. getting real in here tonight, folks. We're still a little bit in roast mode. <laughs> a little roasty. Uh, Quentin Alston, what do you keep in that shirt pocket there? A uh, better shirt? What is that exactly? Oh, what is that pocket for? Looks like a little like a little pocket for wands, like he's Blake Gryffindor. You know what I'm saying, people? Oh, look you know at that. Saying? Trump trying to win the popular vote. Um, Swing towards the vote on that joke, people. Quentin, uh, you, you talked about being half black, half white, and you mentioned that you have a small penis. You didn't really punch it up or anything like that. You just sort of revealed that you have a small penis. I have a huge dick. I have a huge dick. Trump, whoa, Jesus. Uh, I have a huge dick. I have a huge dick. Whoa, whoa. Trump, I have a huge Trump, dick. Trump, I'm talking to Quentin. You can relax for a little bit. I just say everybody needs to know I have a huge dick. With those little <laughs> hands, everyone would have a huge dick. He does have little hands. Look at those. <laughs> You're so good that you could do an impression of his hands. <laughs> I could tell Jeremiah's practiced that for like months, you know what I mean? You don't just start with perfect chump hands. Okay, Quentin. Sorry, my friends on the other side of you are so much funnier than you. Uh, no, just kidding. Quentin, stick with me. How's everything going, man? You seem like a young dude. 23? 24. Good wow. Guy. Yeah, I'm... Really smart. Uh, you're from uh, Orange County? No, Wisconsin. W Wisconsin. Wow. Look at you. How long have you been out here? December. December. This is uh, August. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> you look like... Thank you. Yes, the party has begun. You just got to watch me do math for a second. Uh, I, I like Quentin. 
Yeah. I like it. You got Tarantino. Good, good yeah, posture. Good posture. You believe in yourself. I appreciate it. I like your pacing. You just need some jokes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but but in a, in a good way. Like, like, I think everything you did was a setup, so you should just work on tagging it. But talking about your dick and your color out of the gate? I think every... Strong. I think every half black, half white person always has that joke also as a comedian. Just a, I've heard that at least from four different comics. Yeah, I do. Uh, an I, uh, I'm half black, half white joke. And uh, anyway, uh, if Dude, I... His yeah. dick is pretty big. Oh, shit. <laughs> Busted. Busted. But you know what? You, you could be half white, half black, <laughs> but you don't know which half. Something like that. Like you don't know your parents. This, this Kirk Fox is a straight shooter. I love him. <laughs> so, Quentin, uh, how small are we talking? What are you saying? Because Earl, Earl seems to think that you have it, uh, that you have... I mean, you got a nice bulge. I mean, your balls look a little small, but you got a big dick. <laughs> Maybe the balls go in the pocket. Well, the back pocket. Yeah, I got plenty of that. How are you surviving, Quentin? What are you doing for work out here? I work construction. Really? <laughs> Jesus. Wow. What do you do for construction? Clipboard or something? I move, uh, it's like light construction. Huh? I move, I move like... Small. Light boxes? Li like stuff that's not heavy? That's Use yeah. the mic, Quentin. People Talk can't hear you. Trump has very, very light, good social skills. Light stuff, mostly. I move, like, uh, small pieces of wood and whatnot. They, you're specifically the guy that moves the light stuff? Because that's, like, so funny. I mean, you should totally talk about that if that's true. What? I work construction. I look like this because they just make me move the light stuff. I mean, it's, like, it's really simple, but, I mean, that's your shit. You know what I mean? You just said that. You know? Do you ever cool. talk about that? Uh, no, not really. Do you ever talk about being a tiny version of Blake Griffin? Because you really should do that, too. If I were you in real life, not even as a joke, I would go, like, I'd go find, like, 12-year-olds playing basketball, and I would put on a Clippers jersey and, like, shoot. I would make, like, YouTube videos of you just bawling on kids <laughs> while wearing a Clippers jersey and make it, like, this real-life Blake Griffin thing. So there you go. Sometimes I give people jokes. I just made you a viral video star. Uh, appreciate no big that. deal. Appreciate that. Yeah, totally. He's cool. gonna be I huge. <laughs> I, yeah. Actually, yo, oh, sorry to cut you off. I actually did a competition. Started with a Blake Griffin joke. The TVs were on in the background. Blake Griffin started giving his speech. I lost the entire competition because nobody gave a shit about what I was talking about anymore. I don't believe that. Yeah, it, it's I true. Mean, he's he's a really dynamic guy. <laughs> he's super. <laughs> Well, you know what the fuck? So you're blaming the TV for why Take they notes. lost interest? Yeah, yeah. Interesting. So you, so you got, so you got to meet Blake Griffin? No, no, no. But you did a show that he was on. It was on a TV on the back. Yeah, it was on the TV. It was a TV interview that I lost to. Now, when you're sometimes doing construction, is sometimes is it too heavy? And you're like, this isn't what I do. Yeah. <laughs> there it is, the Kirk Fox tag. That goes right from the go, man. from the other thing, right after that, just like that. It's just fucking in its beast mode too. Appreciate you got that. the Kirk Fox super tag there. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Quentin, uh, what are your parents like? Is the dad black? The mom's white? Yes. Where'd they meet? They met in the military. Whoa, fuck yeah. Were they both in the military, or was your dad in the service and your mother was working? Yep, they were both in the military. Oh. What? <laughs> oh. I did not say she was a prostitute. I just said. It's like, like insinuated. What, uh, okay. what branch of the, sur of the service were they in? <laughs> the Army. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's mm. good. A couple of heroes. They made you. Did you ever think about uh, joining the Army or anything like that? No, too soft. Yeah. Too light? Too light. Yeah. <laughs> I'm only light. There's box. a lot of heavy lifting in the yeah. military. Hey, this here. gun's too heavy, man. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe try the Navy. Yeah, there you go. Fuck you, Navy of the United States of America on this special presidential candidate edition of Kill Tony. Fuck the Navy, quote R Brian Redband. <laughs> Quinn, I think you're going to do just fine. I appreciate that. There you go. Earl, anything else for Quentin? I always love it when people just start to dismiss the guest without me. It's 
always my favorite thing. I think you're going to do just fine too, Quentin, unless like you get hit by something. Like It seems like you w would die young from like a terrible tragedy. You seem like that. I just know people who have had that energy before, so like be extra careful out there. And what, what's, ama what, what's amazing about you is you have such good posture, so just make sure you never lift anything heavy. Yeah. Moisturize. Cle clearly you're great at what you do, because you yeah. fucking got a strong back. And moisturize a lot. And wear uh, tighter pants so your dick looks bigger. Yeah. There you go. Quentin wow. Nelson, ladies and gentlemen. There he goes. Boom. He's on Twitter at Quentin Brown Bear Comedy. He's, he's just got to make sure there's no TVs on when he's doing comedy. Yeah. Yeah. Quentin Brown sure. Bear Comedy on Twitter. For those of you that love the longest Twitter handles out there. No TV, HBO special. Watch. It will happen. I don't think so. <laughs> oh, Hillary. <laughs> that, which one? That one? Josh, you might need to mic check uh, Earl's mic. We know this guy. He's been pulled out of the bucket before. Very fun stylings of Deron Davis, ladies and gentlemen. Here he comes. Can I kick it? Yes, you can. Can I kick it? Yes, you can. So I got robbed this weekend by gunpoint. It wasn't too bad. I was with two other friends, but the robber wanted to know our names before he robbed us, so he goes up to my homegirl, put the gun to her face, like, what's your name? She's like, my name is Isabella. And that's when he got really emotional about it, because like, he started crying. He's like, oh, that was my mom's name. She raised me. She was a good woman. So he's like, I'm not going to rob you. So he goes up to my other homie. His name was Juan. He's like, so what's your name? And he's like, my name is Juan. But the homies on the block call me Isabella. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty, like, excited for this year's election, you know. I'm, like, excited for Donald Trump to win. Because I know what he's going to do as soon as he wins the presidency. He's going to divorce that wife of his and let America vote for the first first lady by holding a beauty pageant. And then Steve Harvey announced the winner. <laughs> That's my time, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Darren Davis. Fuck yeah, 53 seconds. Darren. Is it Darren? No, it's, it's Darren. Darren. Got it. Uh, I love that Isabella thing so much. Is that the end of that, or did you just cut it short for that? No, nah, that's the end of it. That's you know? the end of it, yeah. huh? Is that, did that really happen? No. So, but did you really get robbed? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been robbed? Uh... I think I got robbed in my time before. Has anyone ever pointed a gun at you? No. Not, really? Actually, yeah, once. Police officer? No, nah, it was... Uh... <laughs> no, no, he's still here. No, it was... <laughs> yeah. No, nah, um... Topical. Yeah. Tough room, huh? <laughs> I think we have some uh, police officers in the audience. Tonight. Oh, there they are. Look out. They're here to get, they're here to get the mouse. Okay, <laughs> there. Yeah. Liking those callbacks, Tony. Liking thank, those callbacks. Thank you, thank you, President Trump. Um, Darren, uh, fuck yeah. So, what's your story again? How long have you been in LA? Uh, I'm from the Valley. What do you do for work? Uh, I work at a car dealership. This is a new job, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a new job. Oh wow, how long you been there? Like four months now. What, what do you dealership? Do for, what car? Got be, nice. Got to be in Compton. No, he's, 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 you're, you're, let me, let me what guess. car? What kind of car you sell? I don't sell cars. I Cadillac? You work at a car dealership, yes, but I'm, there's no cars there? Uh, cars? There's cars there. I'm the you just don't know what they are? I, I know what they are. You're asking a lot of questions, so I'm just like... Yeah, you I'm, just got to answer one. Socks, huh? I'm answering them all. <laughs> if you answer one, no more come. No, all right. What do, what do you, you do? Your feet? What all do you right, do Kirk Fox just sounded like a bridge troll. That was weird. What do you do at the car dealership? I'm like guest service. I, I like program people's navigation and like the Bluetooth and stuff like that. Oh, the Bluetooth. Huh? Yeah. Jeez, guest service or yeah. guest service? Do you kind of guess what they need? <laughs> <laughs> no, because we don't call them customers. We call them guests. So guest service. Oh. Nice. Does that make them feel better? I don't know what it makes them feel, but I have to say it. I'm going to ask you... <laughs> But I'm going to ask you again, what kind of car are you selling? That, good question. I'm selling cars. What, what, what? Okay. <laughs> Darren. It's a car dealership. What kind of cars are on that lot? Used cars. Oh. So you steal them. Yeah. 
You're certainly dressed for the part. Uh, is it? Is it like one of those weird, creepy used car dealers, or is it like a b big car No, nah, we, we, we sell brand new cars, and there's a used car lot, so I'm just messing with Kurt. Oh, that's all right. Whatever gets you through the night. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, but um, it's, it's a Lexus dealership. It's a Lexus dealership. Yeah. Oh, now we're finding out more. I asked that five minutes ago. So people come <laughs> in. <laughs> yeah, he did. I've only been up uh, there. I so hope you program their GPS quicker than you answer those questions. <laughs> so somebody's coming in. They're getting a, they've, they've saved up their money. They're getting a Lexus. All of a sudden, somebody's like, we're going to send somebody out to program your GPS for you, and you get in the car with them. Yeah. Uh, do a lot of do a lot of people panic at this point and just hit the gas or what ha what happens exactly? No, they want to hit they the They give gas. a lot of fake addresses. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. My home is uh, 8433 Sunset Boulevard. I, give, I always give the comedy store address for everything. Um, Darren. Wow. That's fun. Lexus. Anything crazy ever happen on the lot? Uh, some guy got arrested once. Wow. Was it you? No, it wasn't me at all. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> He's on Van Nuys. Uh, what did he get arrested for? Uh, I think disturbing the peace. Really? Yeah. White guy? No. Nah. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> what was he doing? Um, he was just driving through the service drive, playing loud music. Oh, yeah, Lexus is tough. Yeah. It wasn't our fault. He, he just I, I guess someone else called the cops. and he Good just, to know. He, he took it from there. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good story. Man. What's your living situation you. like? Appreciate it, Darren. Where do you where do you live? <laughs> in the valley? Yeah, in the valley. By yourself? Nah. The family? Yeah. Wow, how big of a family do you have? Like three people in that. Three people. Yeah. Uh, you, what kind of people Isabella, one. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my extended family. Your mom, your dad, and the parole officer. Nah. <laughs> oh. Who's the? Who are the three? A cousin, a cousin, and a mom? No, it's a mom, a dad, and a sister. Mom, a dad, and a sister. That's yeah. One big happy family. Big as fuck. What's fuck, fuck, Mary kill. What's, huh? the, uh, what's the spread like? A two bedroom? Three. three? Three bedroom. So you got your own bedroom. Yeah, my own bedroom. You really any, any, your mom or dad ever <laughs> still like... <laughs> Your mom or dad ever catch you doing anything crazy? Doing anything crazy? Uh, you ever? You ever? <laughs> <laughs> you ever? You ever sneak girls over? I don't think I have to sneak them over. So you I, just have them over? Yeah. Like, hey, uh, she's, you know. Yeah, it's, it's my friend. Yeah. Wow, yeah. this guy's got confidence, and I like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. So you guys programming Lexus. He's got his shit together. Yeah. His shit together, man. Lexus is also one of the girls that he takes back to his parents' house. Uh, thank you, Brian. I'm uh, just amazed that the blackest guy I've ever seen in my life is wearing all black. Yeah, it is true. I mean, it looks like you accidentally left the apartment naked and then just used the curtain as clothes right before you got on stage. I yeah. thought he was shirtless. <laughs> no, don't do that, Brian. That's bad, Brian. That's why this will never be turned into a TV show. Is because of those moments Thank right God. there. <laughs> I know. Uh, so, Darren, uh, that's so cool. Darren, you got to write some jokes about you know programming at Lexus and that kind of shit. Uh, I, I'm not too sure. I, I don't know if it'll like connect with people. You, you know, make like, them connect. Believe in yourself. You yeah. don't have to do those bullshit jokes at the top. Because oh, I'm gonna do that joke. <laughs> what? And man, when you get into it, I mean, you're getting robbed. The whole scene is set. There's so much setup there, and you drop that Isabella, and there's got to be more. There's got to yeah, be more to like, that. Like oh. you got to break it down for them after you say it. You're just hitting the front part. That's Tag City right yeah. there. You just stay right there on that. Like, you know, it's you know being a because what the, what is funny about that is what being a thug, being like tough as fuck. Sometimes it's like you can get away with that shit. Who else can call themselves Isabella unless you kill people? <laughs> you know, like you have to be extremely scary to pull off Isabella as a nickname. Like if Brian's nickname was Isabella, mm -hmm. that'd be weird. Yeah. But Isabella, like I'm scared of this guy. In fact, I just realized that I'm talking about him on a live podcast. So, Oh, he's not real. That's right. Thank, thank you, goodness you used your imagination. Yeah, you just pretty much painted a great picture. You did this whole buildup, and now you, it's playground. This is yeah. like what comics love is when you painted such a nice thing that you can now yeah. play with. Keep you painting. Keep, doing keep painting. Yeah. 
And, and, and while paint, we paint the slide, paint the sandbox. What paint the, the other, fuck? Paint the other playground <laughs> elements. Hillary, you just got whammied, I do believe. Uh, <laughs> so, Darren, anything else? What else is any anything else crazy? You have any special skills or anything like that? Uh, Yo-yo champion or? No, nah, I just like got accepted to Cal State Northridge for creative writing. Whoa! Look at that. That's so cool. What's their mascot? Now, did you really, or are you just bullshitting nah, I'm us serious. still? I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm serious. Okay. How big is your dick, man? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Earl is... <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's asked every guest that question so far. Uh, well, I mean, the first guy set the bar. This guy looks like you got at least nine. <laughs> <laughs> Can't measure it with a basic ruler. That's all I'm uh, saying. Whoa, a basic ruler. Yeah. That's wow. a big dick. Wow. That's kind of gross, <laughs> and I for like those, that. For those of you that missed it, uh, way off to the side, if you have your speakers up, you may have caught it. At some point in that, Josh Martin realized what that meant, and he goes, well, that means it's bigger than 12 inches. <laughs> in an unbelievable maneuver, there was a moment of silence there where if you rewind, you could probably get it. Which It'll blows my right mind that this. he even knew how long a ruler was. Yeah, it was pretty impressive. Josh. He really thought that he well had figured played, something out Josh. there. All right, Darren, you did it again. Very funny stuff. Darren Davis, there Thank he goes, you. everybody. He's on Twitter at King D City. King D City. Oh, shit, look at this. Look at Josh Martin. Look at that haircut. Fresh off of his first weekend opening for Joe Rogan ever. Oh, yeah. That's a really fucking big deal. That's and cool. he killed it at the Laughing Skull in Atlanta, one of the coolest clubs. We're so proud of Josh. So proud of Josh. Getting his wings, the newest member of the fucking Rogan regime out of nowhere. It's like, unbelievable. Diaz, Shafir, Trussell, Edwards, Hinchcliffe, Red Band, Josh Martin. Wow, holy moly. Very impressive. Okay, one of my favorite things in the world is seeing a name that I know for a fact that I've never seen before on this show. It excites me greatly. Put your hands together for Isaac Flacco Martinez. <laughs> Isaac Flacco Martinez. Come on, you son of a bitch. Your name is so funny. I had so much faith in you. Fuck. No commitment. Oh, uh, oh, I always know by a name when it's going to be good. Son of a bitch. Come on. No Isaac Flacco Martinez. Wow, this guy's been on the show before. It's always been a huge train wreck. Put your hands together for Lonel Price, everybody. Y'all give it up for my girlfriend. Her and her husband just celebrated their three-year wedding anniversary. Uh, y'all hear about uh, <laughs> y'all hear about old boy in Waymont, Massachusetts that uh, robbed the bank there, tried to catch an Uber. I know he was mad as hell as an Uber driver because he made his think it's like Uber pool and shit, so he had to make additional stops and shit. <laughs> uh, what a what a <laughs> what a old rich white woman that fucking Netflix and chill. I'm trying to life and learn and chill. <laughs> Just found out my roommate was a creep, man. Caught this motherfucker jagging off and shit. He uh, got a creepy fetish. This motherfucker watching women with latex fart videos and shit. <laughs> now I'm scared to fart around this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's 60 seconds. 51 Earl, seconds. Earl has a question. Can I, can, I, uh, can I ask you a question? What's an Uber? Uh, black people he whispered them. that in my ear halfway through the set. If you're if you're wondering why I was cackling wildly in the middle of Lonel's set, it's because they're all, what the fuck is an Uber? Uh, <laughs> well, His I voice. I, I, I can't pronounce all my damn words. Okay. Well, yeah, no. but Uber's not like you know <laughs> some high tech word. It's you really uh, you really go old Burr. school voice for that Burr. one. Burr. But I was ordering myself an Uber the other day. Uber. <laughs> You heard of this new application? Uber. I got to tell you, you move like the funniest guy on the planet. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Like, I thought the shit that was going to come out was going to be mind-boggling. I got to tell you, 
you're funny as shit. You just need to find a way to connect the words okay. and yeah. make them so we understand at least one of them. Yeah. I, I, but I got I got to tell you, I like how confident you are with absolutely nothing to back it up. <laughs> there was a huge. No, no, hold on. So every time I come up here, I get overly excited. So I just like hell yeah, yeah. Then I just be talking too fast. We just got to find a way to slow it down so we yeah. can understand it. But there's okay. something about you that I like. I might just be the shirt. I see a lot of familiar faces. Walking dead. Where'd you get the shoes from? Jesus Christ. What he's Hard really asking, Lon L, is how big's your dick? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> My it's the question of the night. It's like you robbed three different people. It's like <laughs> <laughs> My dick, sir, is two inches. Oh, you From better... the ground. <laughs> oh, hey oh, wow. Look at that. Lionel, where are you Uba, from? Uba, <laughs> Uba. Uba, Uba. <laughs> Physically Chicago, impossible. Everyone and my girlfriend left me for a guy in St. Louis. I'm going to keep reminding y'all every time. Lionel, have you, you're still talking Lionel, about Lionel, that. Lionel, have you ever kissed a man? <laughs> Because every time you're on the show, you're always like, my girlfriend left me. <laughs> and it's like, so I feel like you're like hiding a little something underneath your uh, super character-y t-shirts. Urban Eric Marino. No gay guy would wear this outfit. <laughs> now, didn't you do the latex joke before on Kill Tony? The, Did you do that before? The fart on porn. Here? You caught your... Oh, yeah. You've, You've done, done that before You have seconds. one minute. <laughs> Tony, this was a, Tony, this was a best of set. you got to get him a break. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be trying to come with, like, quicker jokes, you know. Like, okay, you gotta come with. You got to also come with new jokes when you're on the show. I mean, yeah. it's only 60 seconds. Just try not, out new shit. It's not that much. I don't not, know about that, man. It's not that crazy. I got I to gotta test some stuff I already did with y'all, man, because y'all be clowning. Yeah, well, yeah, we're clowning on you because you come in and you do weird shit. Uh, what's all that stuff that you have in your cargo pockets? Those are like jam. What do you have, like sandwiches and shit in there? It's a lot of stuff in there. Let's, 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 this is an episode called, whoa, what is that? Whoa, whoa, what kind of brush is that, dude? That's a white thing. What the fuck? What are you brushing ponies before the show? Try it, on, try it on Tony's hair. Will you try it on Tony's hair? Yeah, good, good idea, Brian. It's a regular brush, man. Uh, okay. Okay. I can't what? believe a girl left you and you had that brush. <laughs> What's in that pocket? Let's do it. Do some digging, Lionel. Oh, did you rob a circle store? Tonight's gummy up. bears. Oh, oh I had a, a, a big ass bag of gummy bears in the left pocket. And breaking news. Uh, half eaten, sweaty as fuck gummy bears. Uh, I'm wow. Gonna, I'm going to break that to you. Nobody is going to take wallet. those. <laughs> yeah, wait. Why do you have Red Band's That's wallet? That's my wallet. I, and why does Red Band's wallet have more gummy bears than the gummy bear package? <laughs> Thank you. Um, so, Lonel. Oh, don't. Oh, oh, okay. you're gonna don't, don't have to you're do it. I feel it. like he just Bill Cosby'd himself. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> Lonel, uh, how long you been in L.A.? I think like three months now. You have a great energy. What are you doing for work? Uh, I do uh, lift. And I do background. Work. You do Lyft and some Uber. <laughs> he he worked for Lyft because he couldn't background. pronounce Uber. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real, I'm, I've been in background. I you bet. Know, movies. Yeah, I don't recognize the back of my head. I was in Independence Day too. Were you? The, were you really? Yeah. Were you the black guy from Scrubs stunt double? No. I was in Independence Day. Remember when the president? Independence Day. Nobody saw Independence Day too, bro. <laughs> Nobody saw that. Well, I was walking shit. past. I, I bet like, more people you? saw Independence Day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you take an Uber to see <laughs> Independence Day? <laughs> With Josh Mod. It's funny. He only keep, yeah, yeah. he only keeps shit in his pocket he can pronounce. <laughs> <laughs> This is a comb and gummy bears. She loves. Y'all some assholes, man. You love I'm those. I got tough skin. I'll be in the back crying right now, man. Oh, oh I, don't, I don't believe that for a second. Just go have some more gummy bears. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You're gosh. funny. Just write some jokes, man. Yeah, Lando. What's happening in your real life? What's real shit? Stop trying to be funny. Okay, Tell me something about your real life. What's your living situation right now? Okay. It's okay. You got but a little mouse still, running around you know, the look, apartment? I need somewhere to stay. I stay with too many Fuck motherfuckers. That. You stay with too many motherfuckers? Yeah, I How stay many? in a hostel. It's oh. like a men's dorm room. And they... <laughs> 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 no, look. 
There it is. They're fucking it's disgusting. a men's dorm room. My girlfriend left me. No, it's, no look, it's one guy. For a guy in St. Louis. <laughs> There's one guy, he flicks his boogers on the toilet for no reason. Oh. Another French man, he just likes to walk around naked in the morning time. Right. <laughs> after, after, after this making is love what to I, you. This is what he I want to hear about. Naked. Which like, guy I, tastes better? This there is what go. I want to hear yeah. about. Eat this a few more gummy bears. Uh, yeah, it's it's exactly what you should be talking about. How many guys are there? Stop eating fucking gummy yeah. bears right now. Put it away. Jesus, why don't you have a steak while you're at it? <laughs> <laughs> For a guy with a speech impediment, he's the one thing that makes him worse. It is. It's unbelievable. With, with, between his speech and his horrible T-shirts, he's like a light-skinned Josh Martin. Everybody, uh, everybody watched The Walking Dead. Yeah. Carl. No. 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 Uh, Dead. No. The, the Walking Dead is what we call an audience after you perform there. Uh, uh, oh. Come on, guys. Lonel. What the fuck was I just talking about? How, what, how many guys, if you had to guess, are in the actual hostel? How many beds are there? What's Keep oh going. God, dude, just be it's real. It's Don't try to be I'll funny. No, Lionel, look at me. It's, L- it's look at me. Stop. <laughs> Don't try to be funny okay, right now. No just funny. answer it honestly. Don't no try more. to be funny. Just be normal. Fifteen guys. Russians. And all type of crazy, creepy motherfuckers. What did you <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone has anyone tried to fuck you or do anything to you when, when you're sleeping? Like, Tell the like, truth. What do you think? You? No, they just, just they just fucking disgusting. Like I told you, I caught one jagging off, of course. Jagging off. <laughs> jagging off. Yeah. Yeah. Jag- I didn't know jagging off had two G's in it. Who taught you? Jagging off, who, like beating his meat. Who taught you English? Shag. <laughs> <laughs> Jagging off. Oh, jagging off, yeah. Jagging off. <laughs> to what? To, to your shirt? Yeah, oh, what? <laughs> now he's watching, uh, like, latex fart videos and shit. Wait, what? what As you? previously heard on Kill Tony, oh. this is a best of set, if I can remind you. <laughs> All right, Lonel. Well, oh my God. I mean, you got to get out and experience stuff. You got a job? Oh, yeah. Lift and what else? I do background. Background. Work. I bet yeah, you I do. do. Yeah. But you've only done what? Independence Day 2, anything else? Actually, I'm doing a TV show that got something to do with the uh, um, comedy what? store. Oh, really? Yeah, it's, it's going to be big. It's called I'm Dying Up Here. Yeah. We know the project. <laughs> it's on show. It's not a secretive thing. Okay, okay? Well, I'm the kitchen I'm the I, kitchen staff on there. I want to hear him say what it is. What's the name of the show? Uh, I'll be up dying up here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get Lionel no, out of they, here. They told, me, they told me not to speak about it, but oh. yeah. I'm, I'm yeah you don't want to lose, the they you don't want. Want to lose your part. <laughs> yeah, they, that? they don't want you to speak about it because you can't pronounce the words properly. <laughs> Lonel, there you go. Keep yeah, having fun, buddy. Welcome to ho- welcome to Hollywood from Chicago, Illinois. Lonel Price, the Price is Right. He's on Snapchat. Snapchat. At, at comedian L P Z P E A Z C Y. For those of you that want to follow Lonel, Snapchat. nineteen Snapchat. Russians. He's got a little doggy yeah. face. Yeah. My girlfriend left me. Some guy in St. Louis. <laughs> this guy's always funny. He's kind of, he's a pretty much a regular on this show. He's here pretty much every week. Put your hands together for Dan Nolan. <laughs> New 60 seconds. Pack your bag up. I need you, big booty bitch. Hey, uh, I just found out that penguins mate for life. I wish somebody had told me that before I fucked all of those penguins. They will not leave me alone. <laughs> Just, man, 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 get out of here. I called you an Uber. <laughs> I wanted to donate my body to science, but they already have a bunch, so I'm probably just going to give it to math or social studies. <laughs> uh, I did want to donate sperm. Turns out you need a college degree to donate sperm. They wouldn't let me do it, so I didn't know what to do with all my sperm after that. Uh, I just left it on the bus. <laughs> I just figured <laughs> I didn't even find it. <laughs> I always confuse the words optimist and optometrist. I asked a guy to check out my glasses. He said he thought they were half full. (laughs) I think it's important to patronize small businesses. Just tell them stuff like, oh, business, I don't think you're that small. You're a regular size business. Don't let those other guys get to you. (laughs) I think that jerking off in the shower should be called master bathing. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck yes That's how you do it Unbelievable 
Dan, you've been coming on this show for, I feel like, a couple of years now, and you have that definite one-liner style. It's one of those things that's so cool, your progression, because you're always getting better and better, and you're always doing a new 60 seconds of that stuff, and that is so fucking hard to do, and it's so impressive, and you're starting to you know, establish yourself as one of those one-liner beats up there with some of the greats. I don't know. I'm doing all right. <laughs> 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 yeah, you're doing really good. I think you're happier in your personal life right now, isn't that true? Oh, dude, I got, I have health care insurance. Yeah, I'm a recovering heroin addict. You guys don't, you don't know me. We all know each other. Yeah. They, you got, they don't know that. <laughs> I'm a recovering heroin addict. For I've those of you that don't uh, watch obsessively every episode of Kill Tony, uh, <laughs> Dan Nolan is a recovering heroin yeah. addict who clearly, uh, did you fill up my gas tank, by the way? <laughs> uh, so, how's that been going? Any cravings lately? <laughs> no, no, I'm all right. <laughs> I mean, this was a really good set tonight. If you're ever going to do it again, it might as well be tonight. Have a little <laughs> celebration, you know what I mean? Let's heat up that fucking, let's heat up that fucking dirty spoon yeah, and yeah. cook something up for the big... Uh, did, did we ever ask that you, did you ever, like, suck dick for a taste? And if so, do you, do you like, think about the dick more than the heroin or vice no, versa? No, no, I didn't. I, I never had to suck dick. I, right. I, they just let me buy it. So it was, oh. Yeah, we have uh, talked about this. <laughs> 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 it seems like a pretty good trade. Really yeah. lowered the stakes on that one. <laughs> what was the biggest dick you saw? <laughs> yeah. There were no dicks. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I think Earl may have ignored your original answer. Yeah. Uh, I think Earl's been gone from West Hollywood too long. <laughs> yeah. Earl spent the last five or six days up in Montreal. Now that he's back with some dudes, he's got to get in that dick talk. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I used to work in. I, the, Earl used to come into the pizza place I worked in, and my I had this boss Bernard that was in love with him. He, he was like, "I want to fuck Earl so bad." <laughs> wow. Did he? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did he ever do it? Well, uh, I didn't I think I got that extra slice. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, the little bit of the meat lovers. <laughs> Ex extra cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Topping and bottoming. I don't know, something. Whatever. <laughs> what, what, <laughs> what pizza place was this? Z Pizza down on uh, Santa Monica, San Vicente. Yeah, Bernard's there Monday through Sunday. Yeah. He, f he followed Earl. <laughs> Didn't he follow you home from work one day? Yeah, he's like, dude, <laughs> let me suck it, and like, I give the best blowjob on Larrabee. And that's a bold statement. Is that true? He told you he gives the best blowjob? On Larrabee, which is like saying you have the, <laughs> like saying you have the best jump shot in the NBA. Yeah. That's like, and you know what? He did. So. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, Dan, what else is going on in life? Uh, sh nothing, man. I, I'm getting a new place. I'm, uh, I mean, I'm crashing with a friend for the next month, and then I'm moving in uh, to my own place in North Hollywood. Everything's kind of cool. I got uh, health insurance. I have a How'd you get job. health insurance again? Ob Obamacare? No, no, I have a real job. What's that? Uh, I work at a, it's a dog walking app down the street. It's, uh, I do the, like, the dispatch for the dog Have walkers. you ever been walking a dog and you see the leash and all of a sudden you start to tie <laughs> one off on your arm and uh, shoot heroin again? <laughs> Did I ask you that last time? Yeah, yeah, we yeah. did. Yeah, sounds yeah. I, I sounds so funny that I had to yeah, think yeah. about it before. <laughs> it was. It was good. Yeah, what, what dog has the personality that most resembles I a junkie? Don't, I don't walk the dogs. I don't know. I, I, I'm just, I'm in charge when uh, it's all like But automated. you don't see the dogs? No, I don't see. It's all, have it, you it seen dogs in. in your life? Yeah, yeah, but I don't, well, what dog, I don't hang out with them. What dog have you seen that <laughs> looks like it's high <laughs> on heroin? I don't know. Uh, what's the droopy one from the Looney Tunes? The, what's the one with the... What, uh, yeah, Basset Hound. Yeah, yeah. Basset Hound yeah. seems like a junkie. Yeah, it's a junkie dog. Which cool. dog has which dog has the biggest dick? <laughs> <laughs> oh, gore. It's I don't know anything about that. Like dogs. a Great Dane? Yeah, or, probably. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Anything crazy ever happen when you're walking the dog? Oh, I don't walk the dog. I don't walk the, just said uh, that five times. He said he's like a dog <laughs> dispatcher. Listen, Tony. <laughs> Well, you're the you're I, the dispatcher. Yeah, it's like it's like Uber for dogs. You call a dog walk on your it's phone like and they come to your Uber. house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Get that last guy up here and do this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hello, did you order a dog Uber? <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow, Dan, are you holding it down? Are you like the only dispatcher? 
Uh, no, it's like uh, I deal with walk issues, so like I start and I'm the only guy, and I'm on New York time. I work 5 a.m. to 1. Tell me what a walk issue is. Like a walk thing? issue is it's mostly lockouts. Like we have to send Like if you're walking a dog, you can't get it back home? Yeah, you can't get into the house, or you can't get into the house to get to the dog, or the leashes are missing, or like we have like uh, for, you know, owners are supposed to leave a bunch of information about Hearing how about your house. job makes me want to shoot heroin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, I actually yeah. like it. I like my job. We it, we just because we deal with like uh, most of the issues resolve within like five to ten minutes, and then it's just the same Once they six shit. shitheads that are like they they don't know how to fucking put ETAs in. They're always late, and I just think that they're junkies because that's why it's, it's my experience. Right. <laughs> so I assume it's the same thing. Hmm. What shit. else in life? Yes, you, so you have a full time job. What's your favorite hobby other than stand up comedy? Uh, I, I really what do you do to uh, chill? Dogs. What do you do for fun every once in a while? Do you watch <laughs> movies, TV, go to a theater, play music, anything? Uh, no, I play some guitar, but not really. Oh, you do? Yeah. Huh? No. I do. I've just been living, uh, living the comedy dream. I've been doing the roast. I'd battle. imagine. Did you notice when you stopped doing heroin? Did you get worse at the guitar? Well, uh, <laughs> no, you know what? Yeah, when I would be going through withdrawals, I feel like I would play way better guitar when I was like really like fucking out of it. Was wow. that T-shirt from when you were doing heroin? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this T-shirt is still on heroin. I'm gonna uh, get you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get you a longer T-shirt. <laughs> I actually bought like I bought like twenty of these for a dollar at a flea market ten years ago, and I still you paid have, too like, much. <laughs> <laughs> we're making fun of the shirt, but really the jeans are much worse yeah. than the wait, shirt. Wait, wait, can, can we say the first five episodes he used to have the big holes in his jeans? He would yeah, only wear that pair of pants. These look like they're day. sort of better, but it also looks like he like slid into home plate today for some reason. <laughs> Is that dirt or just like stain? What is that? I, don't know. I think it's coffee, probably. Wow, <laughs> a lot of coffee on the old morning dispatch yeah. job, huh? Man, ah, interesting. Did you use coffee grounds as laundry detergent? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hillary was once the first lady. You're she funny, Dan. I think laundry. you're gonna be all right. Yeah. Is that my dismissal? Hillary yeah. knows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much was. I thought so. Dan, that um, sucks. I, I had a really funny interview last time and a not great set. This time I had a pretty good set and a not good interview. So. What what was wrong with this no, interview? I thought no, it was I great. was boring. I was I wasn't. No, I wasn't you were exactly who you are. Yeah, I was all right. Because <laughs> when you fill out your comment cards at the end, uh, <laughs> just remember Dan Nolan was he was all right. Dan, save it for Sal. Right. Save that for oh. Sal. Okay. Right. Now I feel like I'm really bombing. Yeah, you really ruined it then. <laughs> you you fulfilled your prophecy right at the end there. And you know what? The close is probably the most important part. You did an unbelievable job tonight, but you closed so shittily that it, that's all that anybody will ever remember. They'll never remember that killer 60 seconds. They're going to remember this awkward part right now. It, it's true. You got to dress to win. Yeah. <laughs> Longer to look sharp. You Dan, you are strong. so fucking funny. Uh, Sorry, I've been up since, since 4 a.m. Is this so your real really Twitter tired. handle? Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Okay. Well, there he goes. Dan <laughs> Nolan, everybody. Dan Nolan. Dan, Dan Nolan Comedy on Twitter. Dan Nolan Comedy. Yep. There he goes. Or you can also see him at uh, pump number five. Fuck yeah, we're having fun, right guys? Huh, Monday night? Anything can happen. Who knows? We've seen a few good comedians. We've had a no-show. I feel like something exciting is going to happen any moment. Let's see. How about Kevin Mack? What's up, guys? Uh, so, my white guilt got the best of me this week. Um, I decided to let a black guy have sex with my girlfriend. Yeah, actually, uh, I didn't let him. He just did it. She could have waited for me to leave. That would have been great. Now I got to figure out how to get all that black life matter out of my sheets. <laughs> I figure if worse comes to worse, I can just cut two holes in it, and it'll be my new Halloween costume next year. It'll be a dirty ghost. Going for that. Nothing is fair in the white and black. Um, <laughs> we don't even have slurs that are equal. I mean, the N-word is a horrible word, but what do they have for us? Honky. I can't get mad because you called me a funny noise. No. Whitey. I'm white as fuck. 
Can't get mad. I think the worst white people slur that we have, we gave ourselves, and that's wigger, which proves white people, even when we're not trying to be racist, we pull that shit off. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Kevin, man. You know it's not good when Donald Trump has a look on his face like he thinks your set's racist. Uh, <laughs> It's, it's true. You're covering a hard subject, Kevin Mack, and that's hard to do. I mean, you know, you're, you've only, you mean, only a few months ago you were the front man for Blink-182. <laughs> and now here you are, <laughs> you know, taking God chances. You're, I mean, a lot of people, like, how long have you been on stand-up again? Uh, this is, uh, I will not this is go. actually one month. <laughs> <laughs> so... Carry me home. Yeah, All right. <laughs> there you go. Do uh, that in your act. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Good advice. Trump knows. I mean, you got to do what you know people know. You got to do what Trump says. Kevin. So, so how long have you how long have you been doing this? This is one month, actually. Today is one month. Yeah. Huh. Oh, nice. good. The anniversary. Start doing more race material earlier in. <laughs> <laughs> If there's any way you can go back two weeks ago and do even more. Yeah. <laughs> what I was thinking, instead of the dirty ghost, I was thinking KKK with the black thing, so you might want to steer clear of that. Covering black and white right now, in my opinion, one month in, is like uh, someone who just graduated from being a dental assistant doing open heart surgery on someone that, like <laughs> right then and there with a pen. Well, I grew up uh, in Detroit, so I feel like I have my black card. Do you? I not think. yet. I it like doesn't do. seem like it. You seem whiter than me, and that's not good. That, yeah. That, that's an accomplishment. Well, yeah. the, the, I mean, the inward versus honky bit, I mean, what is it, 1976? Yeah. You know? Yeah, what are we going to order? An Uber? <laughs> <laughs> Hillary has a point. <laughs> <laughs> do you have jokes about growing up in Detroit? You I do, yeah, that? yeah. Well, what Lester. part of Detroit did you really grow? Seven up? Mile and Chainer. I grew up in the projects. I was the white kid for five square miles. Really? I was one. I was the one white kid in a graduating class of three hundred and ten. You must have had a great sports team. Good sex <laughs> life. <laughs> Fuck yeah! I was actually captain of the basketball team. You, you were. You must have had a yeah. shitty basketball. Team. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this, Earl. I'll keep lining them up. What was it, you and 11 black guys who couldn't play basketball? <laughs> Are, you, Are you sure you were no, the No, I was the only one who could make grades. That was pretty much it. Wow, a little bit of real talk right there. Real talk. You were the captain of the basketball team, or you were the guy that just, like, ironed the uniform? So. <laughs> no, I was, I was the captain of the basketball oh, team. That's impressive. I got a scholarship. Really? To where? Uh, Eastern Michigan University. Eastern oh. Michigan. Heard of it. Wait. Nope. Haven't. <laughs> Oh, Man, shit. Kevin Max. So you've been here a month. Before that, you were in Detroit. You spent pretty much your whole life. No, there. I've been in LA ten years, but I started doing stand-up. That's right. A month You're a professional ago. actor. Uh, yeah. That's now turning to stand-up comedy, chasing your dream. Yeah. Something like that, right? Something along. But you've well, acted yeah. in some cool stuff. I've uh, been in a few cool things. Yeah. 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 Like what? Uh, God damn! You're gonna make me do my resume. Uh, I was on I mean, NCIS if you were in Los anything Angeles. Cool, then I was okay. on Cold Case. I was on NCIS. Wow! Are you always? On, what are you? The, the it's criminal? weird. I'm everything. Like I, I was. A, I've been a single father. I've been a drug dealer. I've been a Come sniper. Where, have you ever been a comedian? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently not. No, NCIS actually stood for No Comedian in Sight. <laughs> Hey, sometimes you gotta you gotta be straight with these people, you know. You gotta be a straight shooter, you know. You gotta be a straight shooter sometimes. So, Kevin, you're. <laughs> I I mean, Trump is winning my vote here tonight. I don't know about you guys, but. So, Kevin, if I can make one suggestion, because uh, you're handsome, you're a beautiful man, you're very cool. Thank you. Uh, when you come up on stage, you have to find a way to to come off less cool. You, you don't want to lean on this like, you know, this was your little thing. I, I had to take it from you. you took my crutch. Yeah, so you got to just get up there and take a breath. I know you're nervous. You didn't expect that you were going to be called, so you weren't prepared. But if you're in this room, you got to know that it could happen. Right. 
So just you're in the game now. But so when you get up here, just take it in and just believe in your shit. You're still a little frightened, but just keep doing it and try not Appreciate to be so that. handsome. Yeah, Kevin, you, you, how long did <laughs> you live in Detroit? Down. 18 years. What's that? 18 years in Detroit. Uh, 19, 20? Yeah, 18 years. Yeah. Did you ever, uh, have you ever been with a black woman before? Several. That's not when you use that. <laughs> uh, have you ever noticed anything different about black women and white women? Yeah, we want to know the difference between white women and black women. Go. A credit. Because <laughs> Kevin Mack, you More racism. Like, well, obviously, oh, they're shit. credit writing. Whoa, too soon, too soon. <laughs> Uh, Actually, the black girls that dated me, their credit rating went down. Terrible credit. Kevin, uh, stick with me, Kevin. Stick with me up here. Um, You seem like you could almost, you seem like the guy that like Deuce Bigelow house sits for. uh, Like, that's still not the right (laughs) reference. He's a better version of Ashley Hamilton. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um (laughs) So let's get into it, Kevin. What's your uh, love life like now? Um, I'm, I've been single for three and a half years. Holy yeah, shit. I yeah. just felt a, a rush of water underneath my feet from every woman <laughs> getting wet in this room right now. That's almost amazing. Kevin, what have you been doing? Just teasing girls relentlessly? What's the story here? Uh, I've been dating. I've been making the rounds. That means he gets yeah. it in, folks. He gets it in. <laughs> <laughs> All the way in. Uh, <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take that one. That one always works. Uh, so, Kevin, like, how you how you meeting these girls? What are you doing? You drink? Uh, no, I'm. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't do drugs. You been sober? No, I'm just. I've always been that way. You've just always been that just way. Just never oh, been a party guy. You got the Chris D'Elia thing. Yeah. You got the Jer- You got the Jeremiah Watkins thing. How old are you? I don't think that's a thing. Thirty-six. <laughs> To be honest, yeah. <laughs> what do you think would happen if you had a drink? Uh, I already know what happens. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that. That is not what happens. That is not what happens. One time it happened. Um, he turns into. <laughs> Did it really happen? No, no, it didn't. Come happen. on, you can be honest with me. No, us, it didn't Kevin. happen. No. We have and to stop find trying out to back me into a corner, you. Tony. No, I didn't. We not. have to find things out about you. Listen, Earl's a good-looking ever... guy, and I wanted to get a head in comedy. All so right. what do you mean, Kevin? Gonna do? Well, you lost me on that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I did. I drank. Uh, the one time that I drank, I ended up in jail. So that was like. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what happened? Uh, I got drunk. I hit on a guy's girlfriend. I slapped her ass. I ended up fighting him and two of his friends. I put two of them in the hospital, and I ended up getting beat up by cops. Wow. Wow. You're like an alcoholic Incredible Hulk. That's incredible. (laughs) (laughs) Was this in L.A. or New York? No, this uh, was in Detroit. Detroit, Yeah. (laughs) And I was was only 18 when it happened, and I was at a bar, so I caught charges for... Uh, underage drinking, assault and battery. Yeah, going for a second here, Brian, because yeah. I have some more questions that I want to ask you, Kevin. All right. I'm going to take a guess here. I'm going to say you do not have a brother. Am I correct? I do have a brother. How many brothers? Just one? Just one. Right. He's younger than you. Yes. Do you want to know how I know this? Uh, yes. Kevin, when you drank that night, right. that one time that you ever let yourself <laughs> have that sweet, sweet nectar... <laughs> Of alcohol, of the truth juice, if you will. Yeah. Your insides, your true brain, wanted something that you couldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> that was a long setup, man. That was Thank great. Thank you. That was beautiful. Uh, we're playing championship ball here, Kevin. That was well uh, done. This is well done. Red Band and I have been working together for a while now. <laughs> um, so... Wow, that's interesting. I mean, yeah. a guy that could get any woman, but you wanted a woman that was taken by somebody else. Now, did you slap her ass after you found out she had a boyfriend or before? Um, I tried to pull her away from her boyfriend. Oh, my God. And then Have, she... And what then, did you drink yeah. that night? Real class Everything. act. Real class yeah. act. We drank... We, we pre-gamed, I think. Who's we? Uh, myself. Me and the boys. Myself <laughs> and a couple of my... <laughs> it's raining. It's raining, man. We no, no. two okay. lemon drops. <laughs> yeah, we drink everything. We drink Cosmos and lemon drops. Body shots. <laughs> uh, no, 
We pre-gamed, we drank, this is going to sound so, so gay. Oh, uh, we drank a whole bottle of Goldschlager. Oh, <laughs> my God. Where is it, Brian? Where is it, Brian? <laughs> That's what happens if you say Goldschlager on this show. Everybody knows it. If you drink a bottle of Goldschlager, you get careless whisper. So you and the boys drinking Goldschlager, <laughs> which 32 years old, I've still never had any of. In Detroit. So there you are. You, you're, you decide, I'm going to drink for the first night ever. Yeah. Let's go all the way with this stuff that has gold in it. Yeah. You and your buddies drink it all. Yeah. And then what happens? Uh, then we went inside and we started drinking Long Island iced teas. You went, wait, you went, <laughs> I was, <laughs> you went inside of where? In the club. Jeff. We in the club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at this little, this little hand. The fucking hand. That's gonna look hand. so hand. good on that camera right there. That hand is great. Oh, Kevin, do you always wear the hat? Yeah, well, I'm growing my hair like out for a You might have a man bun. Do you ever, you ever do the man bun? Yeah. yeah. You have I a have man a top bun knot. Right there. Yeah, it's not yeah. long enough. Have I'm you growing it out for a roll. I don't want knot? to. You yeah. seem more like a bottom knot to me. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever... Let's be friends. Go on. Have you ever worked at a deli and they just call you Ashton Butcher? <laughs> <laughs> mm. You got to say, That's you got to start chewing the tobacco, people. Oh, my God. Yeah, he does look like that guy. Who's that? Who's that? How do you, Earl? Why do you have pictures of guys on your phone? No, that's his wallpaper. Doesn't he look like this guy? Does he look like my wallpaper? Because pussy has been a gateway drug to dick for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, he looks just like this hockey player. Can you pull up? Oh, that's guy? a hockey player. Oh, that's that guy you were showing me. Yeah, this guy Sheldon Saray. Oh, there you go. You ever play hockey? No, I, I cannot skate. Other than shit. basketball, you ever play any other sports? Football. You have any other hobbies? Uh, <laughs> MMA. MMA. You ever roll around with other dudes? Lots. <laughs> I see you're just rolling no, with it. Okay. Do you really do like jujitsu or anything? Yeah, yeah. You do. Yeah. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah. Does Did that you get does your jujitsu training help you when you're slapping girls' asses? <laughs> <laughs> Pat Reagan, go ahead. Did you get bullied in high school? Growing up, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, quite by, a your bit. Little, by your own little brother? Quite a bit. <laughs> I'm the smallest guy in my family by a lot. Jesus. Really? Yeah. Wait, there's a bigger, more handsome version of you and your family? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. I'm the smallest weight-wise and height-wise by a lot. Hey, we, really? got some, we got some Goldschlager right here. I was wondering maybe... Uh, <laughs> is that true? Yeah, if you would want to, like a really little Goldschlager? taste. Goldschlager? There's gold in it. Is it really oh gold? Oh, my God. Real it really is. fucking gold. Wait a second. Wait. No, I can't do it. I don't want to. I don't want that to happen. Can't do well, it. That's, that totally sounds like a bad no, idea. Uh, he's probably gonna beat thing. our asses. He's gonna. Oh, that's horrible. What? Uh, <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah. That's why I do not drink. Oh, <sighs> yikes. God yeah. damn it. Kevin, you yeah. seem like you've been with more women than everybody else in this room combined. So let's just talk about it. Craziest thing that's ever happened to you in the bedroom. Fuck. Um, I had a foursome with uh, two porn stars and a stripper once. <laughs> two porn stars and a stripper. Yeah. Wow. Boring. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, it was a it shit. was a foursome. Foursome. Wow. That so what is even going on during that? Like you only have two hands and a mouth and a dick. So it's pretty much laid there and got mauled, which wow. was kind of cool. Oh my! God. Wow. Now that paints a visual, folks. And that's why I don't drink because I remember that shit. You. That's your Vietnam. Oh my God. <laughs> Can we Jeremiah trade lives? Watkins. Can we trade lives? Jeremiah fucking Watkins, you are just unbelievable, <laughs> unfucking stoppable, un. I mean, it's been unbelievable. I've watched you all week, just destroy it now. Little yeah. nugget for those Kill Tony fans out there. Played Careless Whisper on the roast battle finale. That's wink, true. Wink. That's true. He snuck one in. He snuck one in. We would have loved to have seen some of the other. Uh... Oh, there you go. We got it. 
<laughs> we got that one in the bag. Uh, Kevin Mack, anything else interesting about you at all whatsoever? Wait, what what happened with, during the porn? Yeah, what happened during the foursome? So you got mauled. How, how long do you last in a foursome? Dude, with two professional porn stars and a stripper. Who there was so much it. going on that I couldn't focus enough. I'm to come on. A I swear to God. You say, I swear you say to God. that you like to not drink so that you can remember it. So what the fuck do you remember? Um, right now it sounds like you don't remember shit. I want to know what happened. I remember. Jesus Christ. I remember. Uh, let's see. I was getting ridden and ridden. <laughs> Some, have, all right. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Start. wait <laughs> who's the two porn stars? Because I probably know them. So. I'm not going to throw that uh, out there. <laughs> How big were they? Tell me afterwards. I'll tell you afterwards. The porn stars. I'm pretty sure they don't mind if you mention that they <laughs> fuck. I'm pretty sure that's what they do for a living. It's yeah. not. It's not their feelings. I'm worried about. Oh, come, right, on. All right. come on. Give them a plug. Give them a. Give them any kind of plug. I, I gave them a plug. Oh, yeah. that's what I just oh, said. Wow. I already made that joke, but then you made it, not realizing that I shot. made it. Now, what everybody. How did it sure. start? How does a foursome start? I mean, um, look at this guy. That's they a great question, Pat. Yeah, it almost seems like. How many roses? How does a <laughs> how does a that mean? start? Where, I was dating the. Were you guys in an igloo or something? Like I was dating one of the porn stars. We went to an event called um, Exotica. Ooh. Yeah. And Columbus, Ohio. She introduced me to Is her that other. True? Brian Town friend. will be there next month. Yeah. yeah. But this month. She introduced me to the other porn star friend that she had there. Her porn star friend liked me. And then we went. Out after the exotica thing, and then we met up with this stripper oh, chick. Oh, Jesus, this story is worse than anything I've ever heard before. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry I asked, Kevin. A you double. need to edit that shit. We, we want to hear about the squirts and, like, yeah. crazy shit. Uh, and the fact that you had a stripper with two porn stars, that means the stripper was like 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 a like a young deer that you guys just fucked the shit out of that poor girl. And she she just, like, didn't even get a ride home the next day. And you guys are, like, <laughs> fucking taking her Uber X home yeah, and shit like know, that poor little stripper. Yeah, you know, like the kind of night you have with a young deer. Uh, <laughs> totally makes sense. Totally, totally. Actually, totally. the stripper was the most aggressive one. Really? By far. Aggressive in what way? She had nothing to lose. She was. She. <laughs> she was. She was. To prove herself. It was the most aggressive hand job I ever had. It was a hand job. It was like. Wait a it Wait was a like second. twenty minutes of punching me. You're in the telling nuts. me that you're having was a foursome was and that one her? of the things was happening is a fucking hand job. Hand that was her hand. Yeah, it was okay. her hand. Yeah. How many T cells did you lose that night? <laughs> I double bagged it. I got you, Earl. Ew, you, you, you double bagged it. You and got a hand yeah. job. <laughs> you double <laughs> bagged it for a hand job, job Kevin. Oh Jesus God. Christ. Jesus. <laughs> that is almost. That is almost no, amazing. No, it's more like. It's more like. That. Have you ever been with a? Uh, have you ever been with a man? No. In any way, you never kissed one. I had to kiss a guy for a movie once. <laughs> so they, uh, did, did, did you get the movie? Yeah, I, it was in. It was in the. Oh, scene I thought there, it was yeah. to get the movie. No, it wasn't the audition. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm going to do some improv right now. <laughs> I'm going to try to kiss a guy for a movie. It just fucking wasn't working. So have you given up on acting, or are you still reaching out for a lot of roles and just sort of like... No, I still... Shit? Acting still pays my bills. Right, yeah. absolutely. And But how much stand-up have you been doing this month? How many spots would you uh, say I'm doing you minimum six nights a week. And That's trying great. to hit at least two two mics a, a day, if I can. That's great. Yeah. Two mics a day. And three porn stars a day. Yeah. <laughs> It's a lot yeah. of math. One I check. like this guy. I like him. I do, too. Kevin Mack. There he is, everybody. Thanks, there he goes. Yeah. Here we are. It's all happening. Fuck yeah. One of those nights. How fun. Let's just keep going. Let's jump right into it. You know what? Let's get our regular up, and then we'll go back to the bucket right after that. How about that, live audience? Does that sound good to you? Every single week, we have a regular who does a brand new 60 seconds every week. She doesn't get pulled out of the bucket. She gets billed piece by fucking piece live uh, in front of the internet every single week here with a brand new 60 seconds. Put your hands together for the great Vanessa Johnston, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, guys. I went to a park this weekend, and when I walked up to the building, there was a sign that said, warning, Chemicals in this area are known to cause cancer and birth defects. Welcome to Disneyland, the happiest place on earth. <laughs> While I was there, there were people standing on the street with signs preaching, which is weird because why are they choosing tourists as their target demographic? No one's going to come back from vacation and go, dude, my trip was amazing and I got an even more amazing souvenir. 
the word of God. That's not happening. It. It's not going to happen because tourists are too happy. What they need to do is preach at children's hospitals where kids are high on morphine and nearly dying because they'll believe anything. <laughs> That was great. That's so funny. Great Two weeks in a ending. row. Yeah. Two weeks in a row. Super strong opening uh, last week. Super strong close this week. That was very funny. Um, yeah, that is interesting, the whole chemical fucking thing. That's just a California thing, right? No, 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 no. They, have, they actually have those signs everywhere you go. You just don't ever look for no, them. If you go in into California, a, though, right? No, no. It's in Ohio. It's like, it usually huh. is like, in like if you're at a pool, like at an apartment complex, you see all the poor people trying to get an abortion by just hanging out there all day. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I, I, I daydream. <laughs> I daydreamed for three seconds there, and I don't even want to know what actually happened. I truly don't know what happened or what was Where are you said. living, Brian? <laughs> <laughs> Red band, sometimes I even think you need therapy. <laughs> That's oh. Donald Trump. If the president says Jesus. you need therapy, Brian, and all your friends, uh, then you might need some. Um, Vanessa, right, Vanessa how the... so how's life? Everything good? Mm -hmm. What did you talk about? Did you really go to Disneyland? Yeah, I did. How was that? This was a couple weeks ago. Um, it was fun, but there were, when you walk up, there's 10 signs at every single entrance where you put your ticket in that say the cancer thing. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it sounds believable. What part was your uh, favorite part of Disneyland? What did you see that was actually cool for you? I mean, was that, that was your first time there. Uh -huh. And you saw the Mickey and this and that, which I guess sort of... Is that what you think Disneyland is? You saw the Mickey. Mixy, Mickey, and this and that. <laughs> yeah, you what saw, I, you saw I the, uh, what's his name, uh, Mixy Mouse. <laughs> my, oh, what my, is that? <laughs> you know, Mixy, the star... <laughs> My favorite part is that just confirms how many times Red Band goes to Disneyland. I've only been to Disneyland once because Disneyland's a bitch. Disney Road has the real castle. It's a real castle. Whoa. Like when I went to Disneyland, it's like, what is this, a souvenir shop? Oh, no, that's the castle. What a, what a horrible version of Disney. It's a real castle in Orlando? It's a humongous castle. Like, and you're it's like, real? Wow. It's a real castle? Well, there's nothing in there except like, like break rooms and shit. Yeah, they have the most magical castle in Orlando. It's, Sometimes uh, I wonder. It's, it's called Pulse Nightclub. The Prince oh. of <laughs> Come on, it's been like three weeks, guys. It's time to make the jokes. All right? <laughs> I don't know. All right, why is there... All right, that's enough, Brian. I don't know why there's a chimp in Pulse Nightclub. But... Yeah, you should do that fag song again. <laughs> Tony, that was the AIDS monkey. Oh, okay. oh watch okay. out. Trump, Trump, you keep saying things like that. You're going to keep winning this election. Uh... Seriously, I would vote for you if you were actually running for president of the United States of America before Trump. Okie dokie. Uh, Vanessa, so you're in Disneyland. What do you see that's cool? What, did, what was your favorite thing? <sighs> this is so, the ride, the Indiana Jones ride. This is so, I feel like this is so embarrassing. That's what's good. You have to, that's what people <laughs> on the, when they, during this interview part don't understand. Is like, that's what makes it great is when you feel that. That means that it's, there's something in you that's worth sharing. So what is it that about the Indiana? What was it about the ride that? Is embarrassing. You, you, no, the ride wasn't embarrassing. I just feel like it's embarrassing that I love that ride. It made me so happy. Oh but everything else is gross. Shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Everything else hey. was disgusting. Hey, Vanessa, how is that foursome with the last guy? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Pat, I'm pretty sure you were one of the four, too. Uh, you are dressed like a woman right now. My boy Patty Reagan knocking out of the park once again. <laughs> there you go. Um, so, have you always been a fan of in Indiana? All right. Have you always been a fan of Indiana Jones? No. <laughs> Why are you so ups upset talking about this Indiana Jones ride? I don't know, because I feel... Oh, gosh. Right, it's Disneyland does stuff to people, like what Red Band just did. It makes you weird. And I, I look, actually I don't love, give a shit I love the Disneyland. Transformers ride at Universal. Do you really? mean, yeah, I mean, I'm not afraid to say it. There, <laughs> there, it's there a good is, ride. Wow. It's there, a fucking really good ride. I, I didn't know you were that trans progressive, Tony. Oh, oh I am. Oh. I am. There, there's definitely people that go, like grown adults that go to Disneyland like once, twice a month. Like, Three oh, times the There's comedians ladies. that are here <laughs> that are addicted to it.
There's a lot of swingers couples that try to invite my boyfriend and I. To Disneyland and... Yeah. Oh, shit. At wow. Disneyland? They want to slip you a Mickey. They're like, let's go to Disneyland. <laughs> God damn it. That's Nothing? joke of the night right there. Oh, come on. No, it's not. <laughs> Jeremiah has the top six. There's a lot of Latinos at Disneyland. I'm thinking about <laughs> building a wall around it, folks. <laughs> then it Walker truly wall. will be the happiest place on earth. Vanessa, I mean, you're doing it, dude. It's really fucking cool. Like, a couple of the best jokes since you started six, seven, eight months ago, whenever that was, uh, have been in the last few weeks. So I absolutely love to see that. And I sort of built this part of this show for years now around cool advancements like this happening. And it makes this part of the show really great for the people that listen to every episode. So we're very proud of you, rooting for you, and keep up the great work. That's great um, stuff. And have a good one. Vanessa Johnson, ladies and gentlemen. Good job. Anything else for Vanessa? Did you guys get anything in there? I'm not talking too much, am I? You guys having fun? Oh, yeah, yeah. You guys want to do one more out of the one bucket more. or what? Let's do a quickie. Yeah. Let's do a quickie. Here we go. One more out of the bucket. It's got to be a quick one. Quick post-interview. Quick. Oh, my God. One of our favorites. Currently one of the superstars of the show. Put your hands together for Tam Fam, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. This is a bad motherfucker right here. Oh, he's got to be here. Oh, no, he's got to be here. He was here. I think he left. No fucking way. Wait, wow. Is that, that him right there? The, uh, Ham fam, nothing? No, that's my girlfriend. That's, what? I thought that was Indiana. <laughs> it's like a black Indiana Jones. We know him. We love him. The other huge regular here, the one, the only, Eric Carter, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. You know, I know how Southerners sound like you people. I do. I get it. I get it. But do you ever sit back and wonder what y'all sound like to us? You haven't. Or like when I see like a pissed off California dude in Java Juice, hey man, where's my juice? That's bullshit. Hey man, that's bullshit. You're being an asshole. But anyways, but a grown up... You know, we had a hardships back home growing up. My parents divorced when I was nine, but it wasn't that dramatic. My dad's family was very supportive of my mama. Like, I remember my cousin coming by and be like, Hey, Eric, how you doing? I'm like, I'm good, doing good. How are you? I'm all right. Is your mama home? I'm like, yeah, she's over in the trailer. Here's your five bucks. Go to the store. All right. Then my dad's brother, my uncle, came by. Hey, Eric, how you doing? I'm doing good, uncle. How are you? Doing all right. Is your mama home? Yeah. Here's your five bucks. Go to the store. Okay. You want to finish it? Is this yes, I do. Done? Keep going. Eric Carter, closing strong. And then my papa came by, my daddy's daddy, and he says, is your mama home? And I was like, yeah. I said, Here's your five bucks. Go to the store. Okay. That's the only time in my life where I made $15 an hour. Jesus, all of that for that joke, huh? Wow. He, he really went from Elmer Stud to Elmer Dud at the end of that set. <laughs> you are unstoppable. Hey, can you say... Jeremiah uh, can get do anything right now. Can you say Uber real fast? Hey, Uber. <laughs> My papa took an Uber. Yeah, hey, what the fuck is a papa? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Eric, like, well, I, you're one of our favorite people that have... You've truly been on this show for years. We've watched you do this and that. Always so funny. What's going on in your real life now? Are you still driving for Uber? Yeah, I drive for Uber. I dog sit. Uh, Eric's one of the only people that uh, drives Uber on an, ho on an actual horse, ladies and gentlemen. So for any of you that want a uh, horse ride. Horse and buggy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that you come out and you go, you know what I'm sick of? People doing impressions of country people all like this. And you just do your own voice, pretty much. Uh, <laughs> like that. Good one, Tony. Oh! oh I'm, very good. I'm Tony Hinchcliffe. These are my hilarious pals. Very good. I, I love... <laughs> All right, settle down, you fucking haters. Look Keep it going. Look how every, I give you an hour and a half of pure, raw, improvised <laughs> entertainment, and you turn on me when the fucking billy goat comes up here. <laughs> 
Southern Charm, baby. Well, you know what? I, g I give your performance like your Uber driving. Three stars tonight. There you go. Eric Carter. There he goes, everybody. Call me EC on Twitter. Here's tonight's drawing. Look at this, everybody. Earl Skakel, Kirk Fox, Brian Redband, Tony Hinchcliffe, Hogan ripping the shirt. You got the Roddy Piper on. You see that shit? That's amazing. Give it up for the fucking artist. Unbelievable drawing by Ryan J. Ebelt, the house artist. Everything's at RyanJEbelt.com. Patty Rigg and Jeremiah Watkins. Take it. Hit it. Yes, um, please uh, follow me on social media at Jeremiah Stand Up and watch Roast Battle on Comedy Central. That's everybody. right. <laughs> See us all. Josh Martin Comic, Torn with Rogan. Joel Jimenez is mostly sorry. Uh, Patty Reagan, P A T T Y Reagan on Twitter. Kirk Fox, Earl Skakel, watch Roast Battle. Anything else you guys want to promote? Anything like that? Kirk Fox are killing it on Periscope. Just happy to be here, man. What? So funny on Periscope. I haven't on been on Twitter. Periscope in six months. That's not true. I get alerts for you. No, you, yeah, you just were on there. I watch you sometimes, Kirk. I'm Tony Hinchcliffe. I'm going to a bunch of places in California, especially Boston. I'm going to Australia in October for nine days, performing in Brisbane, Sydney, and Melbourne. And uh, Oddball, that's right. That's a big one. I'm doing the uh, I'm doing amphitheaters oh. with Brian Regan and Sebastian Maniscalco in the first LA. weekend in September. That's Chicago, Detroit, and Toronto. Also, we're, we're announcing it right now. We're going to be a part of L.A. Podfest this year. Boom! And we're, we're Friday night at L.A. Podfest. That's we're going they... to choose people from Kill Tony on Mondays uh, to be on this show, so it's going to be in front of a lot of people there. So, uh, Boom. We'll talk so about there you soon. go. You could be at the L.A. Podfest live uh, here in uh, Beverly Hills at the end of September. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. I love you. Good night. Thank you, Lyle. Thank you.